Yo, what up? It's Jerry Robinson with Strange Music. What's the movie? Wow. Yo, Missouri, man. Yo, this is Scum here with Little Snuff Productions out in Denver, Colorado. It's a six digit. Man, y'all already know what it is, man. This is the boy Blaze Hunter Night. Run it back. This is C Lynn. Hey, Webb. And that's a hell of a drop. I'll say it's doing a show with my partner on Signature Series Network. You're watching this just music with Sick OET. What up, y'all? This is MC Snack. I'm Kamikaze. Shout out to Sicko ENT and Signature Series. This is One Man Crew. This is Candy the Clown, also known as Serenity Gemini. It's your boy Cognito. You're watching It's Just Music. You're watching It's Just Music on the Signature Series Network. It's Just Music. This is It's Just Music, hosted by the homie, the Juggalo King, LB Sick. It's Just Music with Sicko ENT. And I'm kicking up with LB on Signature Sicker. I can't even do it. Sicko, motherfucker. Holla at your boy. Got to taste the six sis, I'm feeling of your love, hey. Pull the bottle, homie. I'ma feel great. You wanna ride it? I'm the saddle, homie. I'ma feel great. They met me from the same place. They in the same place. Got a smile on my face, cause homie, I feel great. Big mug full of coffee, homie. I'ma feel great. Mr. I feel good. 2020, Bill Gates. Shout out to the struggle when I spit these balls. I see your fate. I need the bag. I just wanna dance, shout it. That's a date. Blaze on a night, brother. From the five, six, six. Sick of we and to build another beat up on my plate. Up. Apply the sauce and then eat it up. I'm kinda awesome, I gotta floss it and I'm a boss that'll read a bruh. Yeah, I can't be the beat a bruh. We try your get deleted, bruh. It's the fact that anything you can do, I can do better, believe it, bruh. Yeah, I feel great. Can't you tell by my stripes? Here they know the braid, I mean, you see them flashing lights on me. I praise the Lord that He don't let it get to my head. I thank the Lord that He done got it me to the bread. In this game, I'm the truth like them letters and red. Sit like I done ran up out my bed. Too big. What up, y'all? LB Sickening making another video for my sickos, and this is the very first time in the very first show that I've sat in this spot, just to let you know. Bro, we got a fucking legend on the show, bro. Go ahead and introduce yourself for the very few people that don't know who you are. Man, I'm a uh, former JCW World Heavyweight Champion, Corporal Robinson. Corporal fucking Robinson in my motherfucking house, yo. That's the shit. Yo, uh... It's dope to be here. Yeah, man, I appreciate you, man. Um... Usually we just, you know what I'm saying, we get right into the music, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. uh, I'm going to have him judge my track, Trolls. He's never heard it before. Nope, first time in this bitch. Yeah, I appreciate you, man. I Cheers can't believe shit. I got this dude on my show, yo. Should be dope. Should be dope. Should be dope. Press play, bro. Thank you. Cause he's my idol Yeah, yeah, really, really He's my idol Yeah, yeah Cause it's, it's cause he's my idol Yeah, huh Let me leave this comment real quick I'm, I'm fucking jealous of him Yeah, I love your music, homie I think this shit's sick I couldn't tell you one song But I'm gonna ride on your dick I'm really hoping for fame My music really is lame But if you help me out I'm telling you the honor of my name My dude, you're just a hound dog You put my dick in your jaw My money's not my motivation No, it's nice I evolve My hustle gained the respect I bust my ass for these checks Why you troll up on the internet Jacking off a of safe sex, huh? Sometimes when I'm by myself, I honestly, I jack off to that picture of him on the cover of that magazine that he's on with Mars, I think, that guy that looks like Hannibal Lecter. Are you Biden or Trump? I heard your song and it sucks. I added you to my playlist of the songs that don't bump. I really wanna be friends, but you don't like me. Pretend that you're my picture perfect. Everything will fun it begins. I'm gonna stay up all night and all these comments I'll write. And then I'll cry myself to sleep, but tell myself I'm alright. I don't know why I ain't lame. Am I real in my face? I gotta ask myself this question Am I gay? Am I straight? Cause I'm a troll I just, I, I, I really just, I gotta just 
do everything I can to just destroy this guy. I just don't understand what he's doing. I don't like it. I just, I gotta get rid of him. I just don't know why. I just hate him. You need to get up here and do your homework. Hello, don't act like you don't hear me. Mom, I'm telling you, Mom, I'll be up in a minute, okay? I'm, I'm on the internet. I don't care what you're doing. Get up here right now. Jeez. I was trying to fucking bitch at me about something. Fuck. Get up here, Mr. Man. I'm on the fucking internet. <laughs> that was dope. You like that? That, that was dope. I appreciate that was you. Dope. I appreciate you. You know, I'm a man. I love lyrics. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And the story behind things and how it's going. And that was dope. Right, was man. Dope. Did you Did you see me on the gong show? I didn't get to see that episode. Now, I got hit up about it. You know what I'm saying? They like, said, this is on the gong show. Oh, fuck. I, so that was dope. That's dope. I'm going to show him that real quick. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it. We're, let, me, let me show you that. Can oh, I show? yeah? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Bro. I mean, he's friends with Joe and Joey. He's friends with Violent J and Shaggy. I, I really don't even have the right to call him Joe and Joey. I've never met him in person. But that's their fucking name. Fuck off. Pick it up. All right. Please give a warm jungle gong show welcome to Sickening! LB Sickening, say LB Sickening. LB Sickening. Okay. So what are you gonna do for us tonight, Mr. Sickening? I got this song with Frank Nitty, man, from Project Born, but I asked him to come here tonight. He said he said he can't make it, so I cut it short a little bit. I'm just gonna do my part. You know, promote a song, it's dope. It's showing how much to all the homies that came before me in the music game. Feel me? All right, well take it away, brother. Woo woo. Hey man, it's a privilege and an honor, man. Woo woo. <laughs> Hey, yeah, Some hey. of your teeth. Sometimes you gotta pay homage. I'll be sick of you. To the ones that came to the warriors that came before you. Walking up that night now with a rock 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 and a mix to see the whole time he's a lady. Don't get your ass smoked like a reefer. This is a song with the... Uh, how wicked she breaks me to try to party. Get those groove when they kill me too. Let me wanna holler. Woo 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 woo. I'll be playing with it. Six, 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 six. Kinda sucks you with it. Wicked shit. They tell me, sir, what you the devil in the moon. This is honestly the worst fucking performance I've ever done in my entire fucking life. Really? Oh, yeah. I just got over COVID. Right? Yeah. I had like, I don't know, a day to practice, two days to practice. Sick as fuck. Did they let you know? Yeah. Did they give you a heads up to get shit to get, you know what I mean? It was like three days. You know what I mean? They made, they made, a, they made a post. They made a post that they needed somebody for the long show, and then I submitted. You know, and I gave them this dope ass you know, write up or whatever. And they invited me, man, and I went. It was dope. You know, you know? It was dope, bro. But yeah, man, I fucking. Bombed in my opinion. Yeah. You know, I've done way no, better. Yeah, way yeah but that's dope, you know. I told myself not to look at him. Hey, that's that First thing you know, I haven't got to be there and see a lot of okay. this stuff. You know, so it's been 10 years since, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Since well, where were they were like, yeah. to where, where my window's at, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's the first time I've ever said anything to him and I'm fucking yeah. 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 my music. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, that's the Don's, you know what I'm saying? That's the Don's. Um, well, you like to come to Sandusky sometimes. We're like a 20 minutes from there. Oh, oh you see that Sandusky? Yeah. Oh, Cedar Point. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. Cedar Point, right? Cedar Point, yeah. All right, all right, that makes sense. All right. A couple years ago, I made you end up very with Lodge, right? Little JJ Lincoln shit. Okay, yeah. Did you say you were 20 years in the game? Is that what you said? Yeah, man. I've just I didn't him. meet him, though. Yeah. Well, I just I seen him, man. Okay. I got busy coming out with Kung Fu Vampire. Shout out to Buckshot. One ton from Potluck. Uh, there's all kind of shit I'm working on, man. I got a show called It's Just Music on Signature Series Network. I'm working on Juggalo World Network, where the Juggalos send in their content. I'm 
on TV. I killed that now idea because they started please. Scrub TV <laughs> Network and shit. Right. I don't step man. on toes, you know what I mean? My fucking wig is still splattered from the other dude, man. You know what I'm saying? Word, word. That dude was fresh. No, oh, nah, that was fucking hot, man. Yeah, it was um, all right, I'm going to tell you what that just did. You know, two minutes, 30 seconds, something like that. This is what I heard. Pure motherfucking Detroit City. Hey, yay. Right? Wicked shit. Motherfucking early, mid 90s. That's how we do. Did you hear that man say that? That's how we do, man. Yeah, yeah I, 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 you're from I grew up with him in my I'm, ears. I'm sure you, you There's a million, million, different. billion we'll people in the world, bro. Or something. Right. He gave me man, this that's opportunity. That's how we do. You For know what I mean? watching on the West Coast or on the East Coast. You might be a dickhead in real life. I don't know. That's Some people how say yes. fuck we do. Shout yeah, out to shout out. We can talk about that in a minute. There's no you. There's no Eminem. You guys have admitted that you're talking Yeah, sweet ass voice. You know what I'm saying? Wicked ass lyrics. Bunch of shit like, what'd he say? What, wait, what? You know? That's how the fuck we do. Good job, dog. Man, fuck, that was dope. That was refreshing. You know what I'm saying? I ain't heard that in a minute. You know, we're working on everything. He's writing down his answer. Back to where the fuck you started. You know what I'm saying? Like, he wrote down an like, eight. When we get lost it on our direction making a record or something. If you look close, he wrote an eight. We need to hear right yeah. now. You know what I'm saying? That shit was fucking sick. Everybody always tells me. Nasty fucking. Everybody Detroit with the shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> fucking crazy, scare you, fucking listen to it. A sky <laughs> turns red! <laughs> <laughs> well, that's such an honor to hear you say that, Doctor. I'll give you a nine! Hey, I think you want to cry right now. Oh, oh that's the shit! Hey, hey, hey. Hey. I, I wish someone would mean that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, I can't totally agree with what James. Long story short, man, Shaggy gave me a six and Rob gave me a six. You know okay, what I'm okay. saying? Okay, okay. Um, That's still good scores. Right, you know what I'm saying? He, ch he changed his score from an eight to a nine after talking to me. It's all good, dog. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate that. You know what I mean? But his true original score was an eight. You got, you can see it on the board. It's all good. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? But, hey, that's, that's still fire. So let's get, some real let's get on some real shit real quick, man. Sure. Um, let's get on some real shit, man. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Uh, so, how do you feel about Violent J and Shaggy and Psychopathic Records after all the drama, after everything? Yeah, there, there wasn't no drama. It was me being fucked up on oxycodones and... Tickets, gathering tickets, and was selling them. Um, yeah, out from underneath them. We had some homies that bought a thousand dollars worth of tickets. There were like 18 of them, and every one of them got fucked out of their tickets, all their money. You know, I'm a, I'm a whole different person than what I was. But at that point, you know, I'd gotten hurt and injured in New York City. Right. You know, where I was leaking spinal cord and fluid. And we were doing shows after shows after shows. Um, and when you're traveling and you're touring that much, plus you're performing and you're in a lot of pain, you start, you know what I'm saying, overindulging it and, and I see pain pills or whatever or whatever it is. And that's a period of time where that's what I was doing. And I was over-medicating. And, you know what I'm saying, uh... There's nobody to blame. That was, you know, I spent 12 years there, and the best fans in the world, in one of the best companies ever been involved with JCW. Appreciate you. To two of the greatest to ever do the wicked shit. You know what I'm saying? And, and I was right there with me through it all. Yeah, man. You know, I and then I, uh, you know, I, I let drugs and the pain in them and dealing with it affect my job ability there at the end. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, there was a time, like I said, I was so fucked up. We were doing anything we needed to get through to the, I was, I was, you know what I'm saying, to get through the next city. Right. You know, and, it, you know, 10 years, 12 years of doing that, beating your body up, 
You, you know, there's no there's no excuses you for it. But, the, your, you but there, there's no excuse for what I did back then. But it was a different person. But I've been clean seven years. Congratulations, bro. Ne never I haven't taken a pain pill in seven years. My wife, that was back then, who was an addict, we get divorced. I got her away. I got a great woman now. Good right. fam. I'm a totally different mind state than what it was then. Right. You know, there there is no excuses or why. Joe knows I love them. I was just at the gathering this year. It was I don't think. Shaggy too don't know I was gonna be there because he was letting me have it pretty. But it doesn't matter. I love both them guys. You I was, I was at the I gathering this year. I didn't really check out too much JCW stuff, but yeah. I did hear but, you were there. Yeah, I did, and it was great to even be in front of them fans. You right. know, and, and the ones that hurt and upset back then. I'm sorry. I was not, there's there's no excuse. I'm not gonna sit here and fucking bullshit like, hey, you know, I didn't fuck up there because I did. You know, I'm a man enough to be able to say I did, right. and I always have. Right. You know what I'm saying, but. You know, things are different. I changed my life completely all the way around I'm gonna on ask, those aspects. I'm going to ask myself, things. man, so I, I, can, I can relate 100%. You know what I'm saying? You know, I spent a year in jail. You know, think, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of things, my whole life, and when I realized I was burying too many of my buddies and friends, it pretty much wrecked my life. It was either A, change your shit or die. You know, there ain't no buts about it. You done everything around it, you know it's crumbled because of these. So that's the reason and point why I don't take pain pills or won't touch them. Right. Ever. Yeah, I've got bone on bone right now, hip hip shit going on right now. I'm old fuck. I'm an old beat up fuck, but it's good shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, thank, thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the years of entertainment, man. Fucking JCW, fucking world heavyweight. Fuck. Yeah, you, you had yeah, all. The, the, I mean, you had every belt. They fucking right, right. Yeah, you know it was I mean? great. Uh, one of the best times of my life. You know what I'm saying? Being able to do all that. Right. And still making impact now these days too. You know what I'm saying? Right. But. Uh, Word. I mean, those those videos are here forever, man, even when you're dead and gone, you know what I mean? I yeah. Mean, look at this video right here. I'll forever be showing my kids, you know what I mean? Like, right. And, and this is memories and stuff, and you learn about, you know, when you're traveling and touring, you, you also realize that these are the great times. Right. You know, so they begin to set things and getting shit rolling, the shows, perform, all that. These, these are great times, and, and, you know, and the things, life changes, you know what I'm saying? But. We're still doing our thing. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? And I'm always going to be around. You know what I'm saying? Me, I may not work for the kind that was just there together. They may not want. You know what I'm saying? But they may. It, it does, Whichever. You know what I'm saying? It's me. Here you I'm going to show a highlight reel real quick of this man's wrestling capabilities. This motherfucker's nuts. Show him your forehead real quick. <laughs> Look at that fucking forehead, man. It's the old Can you even? I want to touch it. Can you even feel anything? Can you? Oh, my nah, God. Can you even feel it? That shit is number and fuck. So, Touch that shit. Yeah. Fuck, yeah. It's quite like your forehead. There you go. That's from where I yeah. got hit by a car and shit. Damn. Yeah. I got hit by a few cars. A lot, <laughs> lot, a lot of steel chairs. You know, a lot of necro butcher punches and Madman Pondo punches. And, you know, I was like, showing like that. I'm Madman Pondo. And you're watching It's This Music. Tune in or I'll come to your house and I'll pull your larynx out. I was showing my girlfriend some of your footages, some of your footage last night, and yeah. uh, she had to turn away. LB Sickney, right? 2020. Ah! Sick O E N T. Simmer now, got the whole crowd wild. Malevolent sapphire rain underground. Necro number kind at the very own mound. If you listen to the lyrics, you might be spellbound. Profound, I got devotion, got a superstitious notion. So just get without emotion, and my life is full of cussing. I've been told I'm evil for the rhymes that I wrote. I wonder if I'm evil for the drugs in my nose. Simmer down now, got the whole crowd wild. Malevolent sapphire rain underground. Necro number kind at the very own mound. If you listen to the lyrics, you might be spellbound. Profound, I got devotion, got a superstitious notion. So just get without emotion, and my life is full of cussing. I've been told I'm evil for the rhymes. I wrote it when it ripped on me before the drugs in my nose. Right. Hey, 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 hey. Chill 
still simmer down lyrically and same more to come back. No Luke Cage, jumping up the whip, fully automatic, fully your quick. Watch as I talk my shit. Afro, Kadabra, Alec, Kazam. If you ain't on my level, what will shake your hand? Hot damn, here come right with a new style. Who's jumping up in there for a long while? Who's never pulled, that's what never go kill the floor. Knee deep in the game, up to my elbows. Two and a half, five, I just want pesos. Boy, you wanna be no Kratos. Hell, I'm one spit for you, no flamethrower. I go harder than a statue, drive by, blow right. Sweater so official, I'm cleaning in the whistle. The condition is beat is critical. Sorry, I didn't mean to get physical. Woo! Didn't mean to get physical. Madonna got the whole crowd wild. Malevolent sapphire rain underground. the ground. Necro number kind at the burial mound. If you listen to the lyrics, you might be spellbound. Profound, I got devotion, got a superstitious notion. So just go without emotion, and my life is full of curses. I've been told I'm evil for the rhymes that I wrote. I wonder if I'm evil for the drugs in my nose. Simadana got the whole crowd wild. Malevolent sapphire rain underground. the ground. Necro number kind at the burial mound. If you listen to the lyrics, you might be spellbound. Profound, I got devotion, got a superstitious notion. So just go without emotion, and my life is full of I've been told I'm evil for the rhymes that I wrote. I wonder if I'm evil for the drugs in my nose. But, you know, shit just got real. Yeah, you know, man. that's a, and we don't fucking play when it comes to that. Uh, you know, when you come to our shows, it's different. You don't go in there going, damn, that dude missed the guy. You're going, holy fuck, that dude just almost murdered him. Hey, shout out to uh, my cousin Mike, man. We used to backyard wrestle all the time. Oh, yeah. this, this, you see, see that's why. Yeah. See, we. <laughs> it's it's a, a, that's from we a know how to really. <laughs> <laughs> Silly ass. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, we're lucky we didn't hurt each other. You know right, what I mean? Right. Like, yeah, that's that's the you know, and when I'm talking to kids about that, they're trying to train in the business about backyard fits. You love their heart. Right. You know what I'm saying? Their heart is unbelievable but that can get you killed in this game in this business. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta be at the top of your game. You know, somebody can get seriously hurt, seriously bad, especially when you're dealing with like shit we do with flame and bob wire and glass and explosives. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like we most of the guys you know, my air pond necro everybody you know, Too Tough Tony, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Too Tough Tony, been my brother for decades, and he's one of the best for But, you know, same type of thing. Uh, you know, my homie, One Man Crew, he's been in this game 20 motherfucking years, bro. Yo, 20 speak, years. Speaking of One Man Crew. He's super dope, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I, I'm just, you know, I'm feeding into to what's going on right now these days. But, uh, you, you, you know I got a special guest coming. Really? Yeah. I, I didn't know it. Yo, one man crew. Are you in the house? Yeah. See, speaking of the big, big motherfucker. Yeah, we're, I'm right here, buddy. <laughs> look, look, I got my fucking bodyguards and shit. My, now, my now shit, just got, like, there ain't no motherfucker walking over here doing no dumb shit. They, they <laughs> go right through that motherfucking window. You know what I'm saying? We'd be we'd be on the next case. <laughs> you, know what I'm saying? you know what I'm saying? Like that shit is not going down with these, us. These are some big mother. This that, is a big ass now, couch, now, man. Now let me tell you, that's some real shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm over here like like I'm on a Japanese tour bus and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in Japan, all scrunched in, I can't even fucking sleep. On an eight hour trip to Osaka from Tokyo. <laughs> you know, well, anyway, what I was getting let my me put point. This on you. Well, let's get the crew set out, and, and this is going into the point that I, exactly the point I'm talking about is there's talent in the states right now you know when you get my period all you're re all you're really capable of doing at my age after your war it's at is making sure the wrestling business is as good as it was when I was in it and that takes the fact of making sure you know there's good talent not being slept on appreciate you, you know what I'm saying so when you sit back and think and then you meet guys on the road like there's a there's a whole different law to the game of pro wrestlers 
right. you know, and, and the etiquette and, and the things you do. Um, but if the old vets are not bringing up the newer talent, and the guys that's been there, when we're gone, what, what fresh shit are you going to get to watch? You're not. It's going to be lame ass, dumb shit. People not. So when, when things are done right, and the show's right, right. You know what I'm saying? You got to put, be able to put them guys. How do you feel about your average juggler rapper, man? My average. What do I think about? Them? Yeah. The music they make. Well, like, what do you think of an artist like Scum? Rate him one to ten. Oh man, you see, you throw me on the spot, right? <laughs> just like, you dude. Just, you don't be listening to that shit, start, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just threw me right, right under the bus. This right guy here. listens to the country, bro. You know what I'm saying, like, <laughs> for real? No, I listen to everything, yeah. for real. You know what yeah. I'm saying? In, in the juggler world, the thing about it is, there's so many dope styles and ways of getting the message that you're trying to get across. You know what I'm saying? And usually. Juggalos that are rappers are really preaching what's going on today. Right. You know what I'm saying? If people just sit and listen to the lyrics, you know, and and you know that's what's kept that, you know, in the game. You know, ICP is of course the don, you know, right. twisted and all the, but the game is getting the message about, about what, what we're out. And I've come to find out in, in my, I don't know if it's that long, you know what I'm saying, but 19, 20 years around music, right. you know, because I'm a wrestler. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I handle wrestling so hard and shit, but being able to learn, being on the road, and, and truly understand music. I mean, the the clowns but, did something. The clowns did something nobody's ever fucking done. I mean, who but, does a wrestling show? Let me, show let me, fin let me, show let me, let let me finish. Time. But I would give Scum about a seven. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I knew what you're saying, but I, you know, working a gimmick. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. know, you know what I'm saying? It. Like. Yeah. He gets it. The bottom line. The heart and the and the soul behind what I find in the juggle community is always pretty dope. You're listening to the message. Yeah, Scum's, you know been, Scum's been on the show. Here's his drop. In a radical change to their natural behavior, whole prides of hungry lions are now stalking humans in search of an easy meal. Your blood all over the arena, and my thumb is pointing down. I am a sinner that is in a mood to see you on the ground as you are torn from limb to limb, object of scorn and white disgust. Your future's bleak and looking grim, dead like the god in whom you trust. And with the so-called normal people, would they shun me? The first to go and throw a rock is getting rocked. Would they exile me from their city? Would they gun me? Down in the middle of the street, I would not be shocked if I refused to wear my mask and just like how it is now, I would be asked to fucking leave like in a quarantine. This world is over and my life has spread like a disease. How is it? You won't remain insane and there is no vaccine Yo, motherfuck rap, let the gun clap Bring the purge to the underground scene Watch me brother, hate a brother, one and murder one another I will try to keep the bloody cause the body sounds are clean You don't wanna follow me to where I rest my head at You don't wanna be a living witness to my crimes And try to take no way in hell you will be dead at Fifteen years old cause you should not be dropping dimes I'm moving around to make it harder to locate me I know they hate me, they wanna take my life But for a second motherfucker don't mistake me Cause that might make me introduce you to my knife Shitting in the mouth, we got a dumb and dumb and bottles Nobody hate us, something down us Trying to make us close our cool Like an anti smoker movement from the senior show Probably for his such drastic measures Like a shooter at a school Learn us not productions We're those motherfuckers that are swimming against the current Always going against the grain Never to be forgotten, so the next thing all that's right Then I'm on the fucking way, we hit you like a runaway train Yo, this is Scum here with Lyrical Snuff Productions Out in Denver, Colorado And you're watching It's Just Music Signature Series Network Fucks with it Support the underground. Thank you, man. Well, well, I appreciate you. But I think he's dope. Yeah, he's dope. He's dope. Uh, let's let's go ahead and play the next track, man. We're gonna play one of yours, man. Uh, oh, oh shit! Oh shit! You talk about <laughs> throwing right under the bus? Yeah. He's yeah. Getting, he, he about the. Oh that, man. Play that one man. Could be so track. dope. There we go. Oh, this shit. is this is uh. Me against the devil, baby. Hey, uh, yo. Red man endorsed this one on World Star Hip Hop, it, it, bro. It's straight. What's up, man? We're gonna have to show that. Straight fire. Oh uh, yeah. Red man is in the building. One man crew. What's good? What's good? This is me against the devil, baby. Yes, sir. Listen, I heard a couple of lines that was a little too fucking fast. 
I know that's some of the, the new style and shit, but a couple of those lines was too ahead of the beat, too much. All right? Check that next time you do another. Beat is smacking though. You made the beat? Facts. It's smacking. What man crew? I like what you're talking about. At least you got substance. You got fucking substance. You ain't just talking about a gang of silly shit. I got good ears, bro. But human beings are tribal creatures by nature, and as long as we're all divided. But overall sounds fucking fire. That's right, the devil is working. You gotta stay away from saying boy. The devil is working out there. Don't let the devil get you. One man crew. Sounds fire. Work on that flow. Work on that fucking flow. And I got the number. I'm coming to get some beats, bro. Facts. If I can't make it on my own merits, then I don't want it. Stay away from me, Satan. Straight to hell, you shall come it. It's just me against the devil. 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 If you truly are the light, I want to stay in the dark. Look at this. My soul is worth eternity. There's no end of time in the hall. Seeing eye on the dollar bill is the false god that we pray to because Lucifer is the ruler of this world that we're all enslaved to. But we still have free will. It's a choice that everyone has to make, and I've stayed true to myself, even though I know I have made mistakes and I've fallen into the traps that Satan set for me. But I've been set free in the sacrificial lamb of Jesus Christ, blood that He shed for me. And I'm not really religious, but I'd rather be safe than be sorry. Even though preachers and false prophets been playing all of us like it's sorry, the game is called divide and conquer, and everyone's been indoctrinated from the cradle straight to the grave. They filled our head full of their lies and hate. From the classroom to the TV screen to the internet, it's all a fallacy, and all of us have been brainwashed with a false sense of reality. And it's okay to be a pessimist and debate with me and ask me for proof. But if I wind up dead in a couple years, then you'll all know that I spoke it. If I can't make it on my own merits, then I don't want it. Stay away from me, Satan. Straight to hell, you shall plumb it. It's just me against the devil. 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 If you truly are the light, I wanna stay in the dark because I'll never be your slave. I'd rather swim with the sharks. It's just me against the devil. It's just me against the devil. It's just me against the devil. It's just me against the fucking devil. We are living in a false paradigm and belief system. I will not acquiesce to the mentality of a victim. The truth is that the power that we have in our soul is worth much more than all of the diamonds and the gold we have in this world. And we have all been suffering.
across he claiming he was Satan Saying that success in my music career for me is waiting All I have to do is give myself to him Then all the fame, riches, bomb ass bitches and happiness begins I looked in his eyes, his pupils were the size of pin bricks He said I've been resistant for years and I could have been rich A rat ran behind him man. I thought about crushing it He jumped up and saw the rat dead and said that's what you wanted That shit is so wow. fucking hard, bro. Well, that's oh, thank the you. exact point that I was making for crew come up in here like a goddamn gorilla through your front door and you surprised <laughs> me. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We were discussing the fact of how far. See, what y'all don't know about this, man, if, if you do or you don't, I'm about to fucking smarten your ass up with this fucking real shit. This man been in a wrestling game 20 years. 20 years, bro. 20 motherfucking years. Like, I've known this guy. For over a decade of being a fucking badass in Japan. We just met this ninja the other day. Yeah, like we, two we weeks just, ago. Yeah, just started using we haven't even met shit. him, but we've met him musically, alright? He is known as One Man Crew. And let's see, not to be confused with the old school wrestler of the One Man Gang. Hey Juggalos and Juggalettes watching this, I just want to thank you guys. Uh, in case you don't know, um, I produced the song Bewitching on Yum Yum's Lure. Come on, come on! Witness, with your very own eyeballs, a rarity only rumored to exist until now! Which is now the number one hip-hop rap album on iTunes. Yes! Hell yeah! It's my show, it's my show. I'm about to blow, I'm about to blow, I'm about to blow up the hinges and you will know, and you will know my name, my face, my game, my taste. It's time for me to blow up and acquire fortune and fame. Party, party, do, do, hoes, hoes, party, party, bloodshed. Let's forget the party. Sick of this existence, I despise society because my spirit is old in my body. This is One Man Crew, and you're watching It's Just Music with LB Sickney, Sick O-E-N-T, on Signature Series Network. It's Just Music. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Thanks, man. Appreciate you. No problem, bro. I appreciate you, my man. Hey, hey. Cool as fuck, homie, for real. Hell yeah. You too, bro. Uh, LB, sickening, sicko entertainment. You know, in, in, on the indie scene, you know, in the deathmatch world, in the wrestling world, you know what I'm saying, there's a, there's a crew, man, and the top crew in the United States to be the best in the world, and that's what I always set out to be when I started this business, was to be the best at what the fuck I was at. Right. And the shows I was on were the best fucking shows that were going on right then. And you go with that fucking mentality. Absolutely. But here, you, you when you're a deathmatch, you want to be in Japan. You know what I'm saying? You want to get that final stamp. Pondo, Tony, Masada, everybody that's done it. All right? This man not just did the tours that we tried to get on for decades. He spent a decade wrestling in every major promotion in Japan. 
and not just working it as what a store in Japan whooping people so when we come back to the states and I hear my, my phone's buzzing it's like goddamn one man crew just came out of the country into the motherfucking states <laughs> well, he's here the corp he's here I'm like shut the fuck up then I come to find out that he's gonna be here being able to do shows like for for the US fans like all the shit that you know you can keep talking man I just gotta plug this fucking super thing in ah. So I knew this man as being a badass in wrestling to begin with. And, and then fucking you can make it. So what I'm trying to do is finish the story off for the Juggalos, all right? Yeah. And then get into what we got going on yeah. Saturday. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's one. Technical difficulties, my bad. He fucked up. He fucked up. And, and what? Okay. So anyway. And then now you're throwing me up the freshness of, of the shit you did. In front of the Dons. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, for real. And then this fire-ass fucking song from your big old ass, which I knew he was talented and shit. I knew, I knew it already. Right. But just in the <laughs> Blow my motherfucking wig, dog. Thanks, bro. That's why this new promotion, man. You got a yeah. legend telling you that. This new yeah. promotion that you got going on, brother, is going to be dope. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The stories you're telling, the things, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's not only gonna be a badass fucker. <laughs> Not only can y'all you y'all killing it on the music part of things, but on a wrestling side in my world, mm. this motherfucker y'all about to be a regular motherfucking name in your mouth. Yeah. For those of you who don't know, uh, Corporal Robinson recently uh, came out of retirement and gave me a shot at the Lineal World's Championship of Professional Wrestling. He never lost the Lineal World Championship. <laughs> like he was the Juggalo Championship Wrestling World Champion, and I had to retire. And he had to retire to. from injuries, but. Yeah. N not just let's let's clarify this isn't I'm not talking about the Juggalo world title the lineal world championship right, you have to right. beat it's a whole, the man yeah, yeah. to a beat the man so it's so story this lineal that. championship traces back all the way back to all the way Orville Brown the, uh, uh, well, let me explain why when Corporal Robinson beat Razor Ramon Scott Hall at Bloody and Mania 1 JCW World Championship versus WWC Universal Championship, Puerto Rico's world title. And that title's lineage traces all the way back to December of 1983 when Carlos Colon beat Ric Flair, who was at the time NWA World's Heavyweight Champion, in a steel cage match. So See, that's for you history buffs that know your fucking history in wrestling. So Corp was the lineal world champion. He retired as the lineal world champion of pro wrestling. Correct. So he came out of retirement and gave me a shot at the lineal world championship. And I love you, crew. I love you, crew. But this man is going to whip your fucking ass. I already beat him, dude. You didn't see it? When? He did. Yeah. Saturday you night. Him? Yeah. I, I, wait, 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 wait. Let's get it straight. <laughs> Uh, he, That's going to make me cry, dog. Listen to me. He didn't whoop me. <laughs> he you know beat the I'm fuck saying? out of me you know the whole saying? match. He you didn't see it? What he did, he had a lot of heart. Right. And He's young, You know dog. what I'm saying? You know? yeah. I'm not a spring chicken. I'm yeah. not doing back foot moonsaults and the right. fucking uh, karate chair. Well, you know what I'm true. saying? Right. But, but, I mean, legend, on bro. the real shit, on the real shit, he caught me. Caught me pretty good with my, listen, cocksucker. This is what this cocksucker. <laughs> hit me with my own move. <laughs> Hit the boot camp off the ring apron. Now this is somebody with a fuck tip, right? So you know, it's not like I'm, you know, I'm not coming off with DDP yoga right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying like I, I'm a little bit, <laughs> little wait a minute. I'm fat as fuck now compared to what I used to be. My cousin you know does that DDP yoga. Uh, yeah, right. I, it's real. Yeah. Like, I hit the boot camp. I hit his own finish on him through the table. Through the table. On the so I mean, he gave my he 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 beat me fair and square on that. And I kicked out of his finish twice. Yeah. The but look, let's get this straight. I beat the fuck out of him from the time we got out there until my bloody. old fat ass was like, fuck. He stabbed the fuck out of me with a 50 caliber I hit him bullet. with the first boot camp. Oh, yeah. Thank fucking God. I'm blowed up. This guy had a 50 and caliber bullet and was stabbing the shit Well, because he stabbed me in the head with the fucking fort. So I had, <laughs> listen, I have a cannon bullet that I carry around, man. You know what I'm saying? Pointed. It's still got the round in it. And 
the dickhead stabbed me with a fork, so I was like, all right, I'm going to show you. Fucking, yeah, I'm going to fucking stab you right in the head with this goddamn bullet. Tell me you guys got footage of this shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're putting it in the show. Right Bro, here. I stabbed the fucking shit. Like, yeah, go bring your goddamn fork out again, buddy. I got <laughs> something for you. We're playing it right now. Yeah! 
opportunity to jump the face court for the belt for the lineal world championship of professional wrestling. Much respect, much love to Cobra Robinson, but I'm not sure my conscience can handle fighting you now that you've been hurt.
Before we move on, man, are you yeah. a, are you a fan of Brother Wen Chung? Maybe I'll bring along Cindy. We can all play in the shed. Show you what's under my bed as long as you keep it unsaid. Cause if you tell somebody that I'm out collecting heads, they're gonna tell the feds. The mama's gonna make me myself staring at you while you watch TV. You make perfect look so effortless. Fall in places. 
Wasn't always crazy till I met this bitch named Carolyn A lot of you might actually know her, her real name's a heroine Hello everybody, my name's Evan D. Craven I am today's newest patient, I'm glad I'm participating I guess I'll start this off by saying I'm a labeled assailant They found a couple unknown bodies riding under my basement What's up everybody, this is Skits Craven You're watching is Just Music on Signature Series Network <laughs> Oh yeah. Do you know who Triz is? Yeah. Do you know who Six Digit is? Yeah. Blaze Hunter? A little bit. One man crew. A fucking fire. This is war. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sitting there chilling, sipping on champagne. Right Young Triz, my nigga, you know the damn name. They promoting my shit, they support the campaign. I don't give a fuck about you niggas, I do my damn thing. Y'all ain't getting no money, and it's a damn shame. Doing anything for money in a damn fame. Some real niggas, I don't kick it with them damn lanes. Now I'm staffing nothing, them niggas ain't got no damn game. It's light work, but my shit still popping up. Niggas still flocking, and my fans still rocking up. Still rock the show, you know I get it popping, ho. Yeah, we lost heart, and I'm still rooting for the rock stuff. So what you stand for? Five of the best in this war. A hurricane, the land of dinosaur. Carnival, and that gorilla and polar victim, no, never more. I told you we some sickles, better use another score. So, what you stand for? Five of the best in this is war. A hurricane, the land of dinosaur, a carnival, and that gorilla and polar victim, no, never more. I told you we some sickles, better use another score. Ask me how I'm clean, but my flow is nasty. Yeah, I'm getting money, I be riding like a taxi. Pass me, never that, you slower than a jazz beat up all like MJ Smooth, criminal Neil Caffrey. Yeah, salute to your superior, don't hate me because the girl want me all up in her interior. Yeah, I ain't hearing you, I'll see it, yeah, I'm hella killer. How about my Green, I was spring, but I'm wearing filler. Ella, make it rain all on your umbrella. I tell the Kinesis how I'm in that head, Sarah Bella. Relevance is the key to this, and Blaze Hunter's the driver. Blaze it up, it's the whip for this lyrical MacGyver. Started 03, I've been the best since. Cause I'm the son of a king and I'm clean. Fresh Prince, applying that pressure, and y'all can't stop me. Y'all just watch me like the Signature Series Network. So what you stand for? Five of the best in this is war. A hurricane, the land of dinosaur, carnival. And that gorilla and polar victim, no, never more. I told you we some sickles, better use another score. So what you stand for? Five of the best in this is War. A hurricane, the land of dinosaur, carnival, a nigger, a polar victim, no, never more. I told you we some circles, better use an underscore. Six digit, I'm rapping it like I live it. Snapping them out the back and I pack them in like I fit it. Hats off to the cats with the mask off and the civic. Blast off to the ass on the asphalt and they feel it. That's a hot minute. 60 seconds to heat up. 45 down, need 57 to re up. 35 pow, a younger me couldn't keep up. I hit him like pow, cause I remember getting beat up. I tear the street up, bust the concrete up. Trust I keep dust, but I just like weed up. Kick my feet up. Throw a little three up, show a little love, we love to roll a sweet up Nothing sweet, tucking heat in my cousin Jeep Up under the seat, fuck you mean, what you wanna eat? I complete, can't nobody compete I keep landing on my feet when I fuck up the beat, you heard? So what you stand for? Five of the best in this is war A hurricane, Atlanta, dinosaur, carnival An agarella and polar victim, no, never more I told you we some sickles, better use another score So what you stand for? Five of the best in this is war A hurricane, Atlanta, dinosaur, carnival An agarella and polar victim, no, never more I told you we some sickles, better use another score Messiah himself came back to earth in the flesh The mindless masses would just view him as a David Koresh And if these heathenist haters would turn their backs on the savior What could I ever do to stop their wicked behavior? They're worse than snitches, they're bitches These mama rappers are glitches They suck on Lucifer's dick in exchange for fame and some riches But y'all not in the kitchen They're cooking and washing dishes Cause I'm going bossy bra in their bitches with all 11 inches I got them crying on my dick like a sad sack Holding these chicks for ransom if you want this piece of ass back Hit me up on my Snapchat, send the paper through cash app All the way to the bank, I'll be getting the last laugh Like Ric Flair, I'm styling the profile And catch me chilling on the beach with a blunt on Juggalo Island See me wildin' in the ring Cause I'm violent like Joe Bruce Chopping heads off and drinking out of him While I'm smiling. So what you stand for? Five of the best in this is war A hurricane, the land of dinosaur, carnival An agarella and polar victim, no, never more I told you we some sickles Better use another score So what you stand for? Five of the best in this is war A hurricane, the land of dinosaur, carnival An agarella and polar victim, no, never more I told you we some sickles Better use another score So what you stand for? Five of the best in this is war A hurricane, the land of dinosaur, carnival An agarella and polar victim, no, never more I told yeah, I, I don't there's wanna... no heat. I got no heat with Joe or Joey or any of them. Billy, I talked to Billy together and shit. You know what I'm saying? Got to, and it was great being on the scene. I was thankful just to be able to be back. 
when Billy you know, when Billy signed the the painting I got from the Gong Show, yeah, uh, I told him about how I was a kid and I was at the gathering and he uh, punched me in my fucking face mm-hmm. and, and uh, he did though. Yeah. And, uh, I was like, bro, I fucking deserved it, dog. Right. I, I did, though. Right. I did. I was, I was drunk, acting a fool. You know what I mean? Yeah. Billy fucked yeah. me up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is that happens. It. That happens. Billy has a habit of knocking people yeah. slick the fuck out. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what I got was like, that was a big thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, so you, don't want out, the, you don't want the, the Billy Bill big fucking monstrous ham hocks smashing you. <laughs> fucking ham hocks. Right, in the grill. By either oh, one. man. This motherfucker is, look at this, dude. This dude's leg is the size of my fucking chest. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> probably is. <laughs> uh, so uh, I got this promotion I'm yeah, making. It's, it's called, so fire. It's called Pudo Resu Guy, and it's gonna be a so new wrestling promotion. And I'm gonna have my own little web series. And when we talked about Corp, uh, give me a shot at the Lineal World Championship. And when I won the Lineal World Championship from him, that is gonna solidify a legitimate. World Championship in the new professional wrestling company, Puro Resu Gaiden, which is translate in Japanese pro wrestling spin off or pro wrestling side story. Yeah. And uh, we're going to have like a um, storyline, documentary shit, shit. style Epic, web series Fem- and run our own promotion and stuff like that. So that what he just did for me, he just legitimized me in the professional wrestling business in America. Like, I was right. already a star in Japan. Right. But this yeah. dude made me here in America. But you earned it. It wasn't business. just, I, you earned every yeah. bit of it. Just like ICP made yeah. me as a producer in in the hip-hop game, you know, producing a, a couple beats for them, he made me as a wrestler in the United States. That's the shit, man. Congratulations, and you're dope for doing that. They must start to storm. Y'all hear that shit? That's dope. It's the Thunderbombs going, motherfuckers. It's telling me to play the next track. One Man Crew, Maserati. This is music. <laughs> One Man Crew. Uh, this is real music. What the fuck's this called? I forget. <laughs> Baddest in the plane. What the, the fuck? Plan. I forget the own, my own shit. I <laughs> 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 got the cartoon. Shout out True Styles. I was, I was already marking out for it. It was oh, dope. When I man. seen it, I was like, dude, that's dope. Shit. Took away a T. I'm the baddest in the planet, have the planet, don't panic, so shoot it, they bandit, like damn it, they can't even stand it, make them vanish like a landis. I'm the baddest in the planet, have the planet, don't panic, so shoot it, they bandit, like damn it, they can't even stand it, make them vanish like a landis. I'm the baddest in the planet, have the planet, don't panic, so shoot it, they bandit, like damn it, they can't even stand it, make them vanish like a landis. I'm the baddest in the planet. Been a savage, I damage any rapper that cross me. They copycats, my clones, they looking like all freaks. Fish them out, yo, I'm hungry, get fucked and I'm starving. Aim for the head, knock off his hood like carpets. Go on, they Coop sun like pussy and armpits Nickel plated, I'm suited up These bullets never tarnish Stay with the Big Mac I host it with the harness Fuck a full gay They all looking like targets Got a big pen And you wrap them up in the carpet Put them at the bottom with fish They leave the party Stay with the rule I call this Tootie my yardstick Real shit My flow sick I'm like arsenic Falling on these rappers I'm driving shit like Garnet Bring them to the dark This fast rage and carnage Spin shit like Charlotte Plant them in the garden Dead rapper harvest Who touching my floaty garden I'm the baddest in the planet Have the Planet, don't panic, so shoot it, bandit, it, like damn it, they can't even stand it, make them vanish like a landis. I'm the baddest in the planet, have the planet, don't panic, so shoot it, bandit, it, like damn it, they can't even stand it, make them vanish like a landis. I'm the baddest in the planet, have the planet, don't panic, so shoot it, bandit, it, like damn it, they can't even stand it, make them vanish like a landis. I'm the baddest in the planet. I'm the baddest motherfucker ever walking the earth. I hit a stone cold stunner on my doctorate birth. Bloodthirst as I eat a bitch's pussy on her period. You probably think I'm playing, but I assure you I'm serious. Experience has made me imperious like I Delirious, 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 bitches think I'm hilarious Been spitting game on hosts since middle school cafeteria Nefariously getting them skins cause I'm mysterious Desperate housewives, I be blowing out their interior Superior, I've got all their husbands feeling inferior Some get mad enough to grow the boss to fight me Until they make me a person and run away cause I'm so frightening Parents won't let their kids listen to this Because I'm just as sick as hell, be sickening with a little twist I've been a juggalo since 1996 That's why I dick down juggalettes and slimy grimy slits I'm the baddest in the planet, have the planet, don't panic, so shoot it Bandit, like, damn it, they can't even stand it, make them vanish like a landis. I'm the baddest in the planet, have the planet, no panic, so shoot it, they bandit, like, damn it, they can't even stand it, make them vanish like a landis. I'm the baddest in the planet, have the planet, no panic, so shoot it, they bandit, like, damn it, they can't even stand it, make them vanish like a landis. I'm the baddest in the planet. Yeah, hey, you can achieve your dreams too. Huh. 22.
two years I've been working at this shit. Yeah. Do you want to leave? I don't give a fuck. I just want to kick the shit out of you. Sick OE That's the only place you'll hear him say, I just want to kick your ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was dope. <laughs> It's a complete fire. What do you get that one? The videos are fire. Ten. Ten? Ten! That's I got ten. a ten from Gorgo. No. We got that's a ten. ten. That's one hundred percent ten. That's In my shit. book, you know what I'm saying? Like everybody's got to put that shit. Wig. <laughs> we have an audience now. My kids came home from school, so if you hear some background noise, it's them. Mm. It's all good. Hey, uh, kids make the world go round. Yeah, kids oh. are the best thing in the world. If it wasn't for my kids, I. Absolutely. Absolutely. Went crazy. Oh wait a minute, I might be a little bit crazy still. I, I wanna I wanna I wanna give props to Corporal Robinson about something, okay? For the past over a decade, any success in pro wrestling that I ever had, it came from him getting me booked at JCW at the Gathering of the Juggalos in two thousand eleven. <sighs> And I use that footage to get booked on another big show. And I use that footage and the JCW footage and this footage I had on Butterbean's reality show. All those that footage put together, I got those opportunities because of him getting me booked at the gathering. So everything I've ever done wrestling-wise, that I, I had any kind of success, it's because of Corporal Robinson. So... I just want to thank you, bro, and also thank ICP for opportunities with the music and and wrestling with JCW. Nothing but love from me to ICP and Psychopathic Records and Corporal Robinson, man. Like, cause if it weren't for any of them guys, I'd just be another jabroni. Like, you know like, I mean? like we talked about at the beginning of the show, people make mistakes, things happen. Well, we're fucking up the audio. <laughs> Every show, no, no show is perfect, bro. Ever. Well, no, no, and, and, and you know, but so the being able to being able to move on, be able to realize where you fucked up, and make sure that shit don't ever happen again. Right. That's all you can do is learn from it, apologize to the people you know it hurt during that time, but change your fucking life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Change that shit. Don't 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 continue down that path because that path leads to nothing but destruction. Hell, you hurt your friends, your family. You know what I'm saying? Like when you're on that type of shit. And I'm not just sitting here trying to preach to you jugglers, but this is a real serious condition in the United States right now. You know, people are overdosing and dying all the time. Every all day. the time. Every you know day. what I'm saying? And, and that's it's a it's a disease. It's not a you know what I'm saying? Like once you're addicted to shit, it's a whole different planet. Don't mess with. And it. I thank God every day I was able to beat that shit. Don't even mess with it. You know what I'm saying? I changed my life. You got to change your whole way of things. You know what I'm saying? Don't do drugs, ones. kids. Do well, not I mean, do listen, drugs. Listen, listen, I'm not saying por not party, not none. I'm not hating on none of that. Smoking, but I'm saying <laughs> the addiction on pain pills and, yeah. and kill. You know what I'm saying? It's a serious situation. Yeah, you know, and I thank God I was able to get through that, mm -hmm. change my, enjoy my kids, do things the right way. Yes, sir. And, and and that's all you can do is change your life at that point. One thing turns to another, that turns to another, that turns to another. Next thing you know, you're in a fucking casket. Yeah, one hundred percent. And I didn't get that far. I lost everything at that point. You know, what I'm saying that marriage is gone, it's over with. Uh, best thing I ever had, my daughter came out of that whole thing. So that that changes that whole. Mm -hmm. Still stale I, part of things. It still was a purpose, but me personally, I've also had my battles with addiction and pain pills uh, because I've had some injuries and I lost my family and all that stuff to it. You know, everything's cool now, right? But I mean, for a while it was really bad. So that's why I made a song about it called Oxycodone, featuring Seed of Six. A lot of people think it's me glorifying pain pills, but it's actually me. It was at the time it was a cry for help and it right. was speaking on the horrors yeah. of addiction. If you actually listen to the lyrics of my verse on that song, I'm talking about like the kind of horrors that people go through. Like domestic violence, overdoses, children uh, having to live with their grandparents because yeah, they're. It's destruction. It's complete. You know, and that's real life. That's real life shit that's going on. If you, if, know, you uh, if you're struggling, man, reach out for help. There's groups and. Please. There's all kinds of people that help you. Please. Reach out to me, dog. I'll talk to you. If I'll I'm talk. Not busy, if I'll I'm talk not busy, with you. Hit us up. Anyway, so it's nothing but dope freshness and it's a, it's a message. All the stale side fucking lame work. We're, we're, fuck that. We're talking about this new goddamn wrestling promotion. It's going to be the most dopest shit that's been on the scene. And, you know, I don't know much about wrestling. You know, I mean, I was just there, 
you know, when we started JCW, when we was a little bitty fed to the fact we were doing fucking national pay-per-views, right. filming mm -hmm. slam TVs, doing bloody manias, you know, JCW, they've been killing in the wrestling game for fucking decades, number two co company in the wrestling world, and that was when WWF, WCW, TNA, and all of them was going, and fucking ACW. JCW, JCW was rocking it above all of them. Yeah, it was WWE. Right now, JCW's back. And Vampiro's got the world title right now. I yeah. still can't believe you man. guys are sitting on my fucking couch, yo. It's just <laughs> music. It's just it's fucking just music. It's just music. real, motherfucker. Let's play this next track, and then we're going to finish this conversation. Yo. Shit's fire. This is real shit. This is just me and the homie, bro. This is uh, Make It Last. Check it out. Yeah. Cover your ears. Sicko. LB Sickening. Sicko. Sicko E and T. Sicko. Come on, arch your back now. I hear a ring. I'm a don, she calls me back now. I make a say. We get along, we got a match now. I can't agree. All the people in the past were just a test to make us last. Come on, arch your back now. I hear a ring. I'm a don, she calls me back now. I make a say. We get along, we got a match now. I can't agree. All the people in the past were just a test to make us last. To this bitch named Ginger We matched on Tinder I'm about to stick this dick up in her But she's conservative, she needs a hug And then I eat it up to heat it up Then beat it up to speed it up I hit it raw cause I don't give a fuck Can't bust as many nuts I want all up in it Because my nuts are cut I turned her out from a church girl to a slut And now she's begging one man crew to pull out And stick it in her butt Fucking in the back of her daddy's Cadillac Coop the I never thought I'd bang a preacher's daughter But this fluke is real I duped a real good girl into letting me hit it Stole her virginity if I'm charged I won't be acquitted Cause I admit it, I did it Got no regrets about it Probably let me hit it again if I see her But I doubt it I'll probably never See this bitch again Cause I'll be swiping on Tinder We're about to make another lady friend Come on, on your back now I hear a ring I'm a don, she calls me back now I make a say We get along, we got a match now A king and queen All the people in the past Were just a test to make us last Come on, on your back now I hear a ring I'm a don, she calls me back now I make a say We get along, we got a match now A king and queen All the people in the past Were just a test to make us last I swipe right on this freaky gotcha Named Kate, who then confessed that she is married, but she needs an escape. So I suggested we go skinny dipping out at the lake. She picked me up in her Jeep and she was bumping my tail. We made it safely to the lake and then we jumped into the water. And I soon found out she was the preacher's other daughter. I done fucked this bitch's sister and their daddy never caught her. Long as I could keep the secret, then her coochie I will slaughter. A fish bit my dick cause it thought it was a worm. Then I stuck it up in Kate and filled her belly full of sperm. She felt guilty that she cheated, it's a lesson that she learned. Ginger's blowing up my phone because she wants another turn I done filled two preacher's daughter's belly full of steam Which means I burned a lot of calories, I need something to eat I called my boss Violent J, I asked him to pick me up at three He said I can't do it homie, the bus don't ride your street Come on, knock your back now I hear a ring, I'm a don, she calls me back now I make a say, we get along, we got a match now A king and queen, all the people in the past were just a test to make us last Come on, knock your back now I'm a don, she calls me back now I make a say We get along, we got a match now A king and queen All the people in the past were just a test to make us last <laughs> Beat up my fucking wrestlers! <laughs> Somebody was supposed to stop that, but they walked yeah. away yeah. I'm gonna get hit for that All right. later. Hey, shout out to fucking Violent J. You know what I'm saying? Much like Violent J. Yeah. Violent J, bro, you gave me a nine. I love Look, you, dog. Man. Like my, my music career has like skyrocketed, dog, because of you and because of Signature Series and Blaze Hunter. And because of people like this fucking legend that's sitting next to me and this fucking I mean, legend. I mean look at Violent J. You know what I'm saying? You think of things right now, you got, you know, Rob Bruce is an icon. Icon is pure legend. Mm. Joe and Joey. Yeah. And, and 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 Joe and Joe and them, uh, Violent J, are busting their ass, still putting on shows. And the man has a heart, you know, what I'm saying a heart condition. Now I got three stents. I almost died from the widow. My wife when they got me to the hospital, four more minutes I'd have been dead. I had the widow make her heart attack. I'm one of two people that survived it in Wisconsin. They put three stents in my heart. I'm glad you're still with us. After that, fucking shit was straight though. You know what I'm saying? Change your diet. The only thing I'm really still fucking up on is, is these. But 
for the most part. These, bro. I, but those are worse. They'll fuck your lungs up even quicker. The I, doctor I, told I, me. I disagree with you, dude. And, and well, it depends on what doctor you talk to, man. My, one, my, one, my one, primary one. field for twenty. I disagree because I quit smoking because Shaggy and, and Rob gave me those those sixes because. Like I said, that was like one of my worst performances ever, if right. not the worst performance. I couldn't breathe up there, dude. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? But these, yeah, they're not, I'm not going to oversell it because they're not, don't fuck, if you don't fuck with them, don't fuck with them. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But that's what I've done since I was in the Marine Corps, man. When yeah. I was in Afghanistan, I was in Bosnia. It, it's a, it's a uh, calming down mechanism for I me. started smoking at the age of like seven years old, man, and yeah. quit. Yeah. When Shaggy and, and Rob gave them sixes, dog. You know? That's yeah. dope, man. Congratulations hey, on that. Just want to say, any wrestling fans out there, if you want to support Corporal Robson, head over to ProWrestlingTees.com, buy some of his t-shirts. They're dope. Say Ozawa. Speaking of dope t-shirts, <laughs> absolute <laughs> fire t-shirts. Look, we got lucky. These are dope. These are dope as fuck. But your asses can go get one, too. Hey guys, Jerry Springer here, and uh, you know the wrestling guy, one man crew, he is doing some really great work. He is trying to raise money for uh, St. Jude's Children's Hospital by donating $5 off of every one man crew bloodthirsty savage t-shirt sold. And you can get them at prowrestlingtees.com slash one man crew. Uh, so, consider doing that you not only get the t-shirt but you'll be helping out st jude's hospital so nice going one man crew take care of yourself and each other whoa whoa raise a ray here in your motherfucking face you watching it's just music it's whoa, just whoa. music whoa, whoa. ProWrestlingThings.com slash one man crew. And this design the guy who designed this, he designed Corporal Robinson's t shirt. Yes, I would love yes. to give you I would love to give you guys some of my merchandise. Yes. But I well, honestly do not think I have anything in your fucking size. Um, <laughs> and we got a DVD I got a DVD Look, coming out for Corp. But our shirts are fat size because we're fat fucks. Big old That's fat fucks. Straight. I'm not even like front way, I have some skin. Yeah, it's, Look, three X, four X, five X. I, I don't yeah. think you're I don't think you're fat, dog. I think yeah, you're I fucking a, a bull. Bro. Well I'm like swole, bro. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Bull. Like, bro, like, uh, I wouldn't want to get bull. I'm swole. Look at these titties. Fat. I got bigger titties. See, the strip, problem is I got a hell of a punch. I'm glad you're on I, my I, side. I have, a, I have a, a tendency to even be old and fat, but can still punch people in the face. Yeah. So it, it, that still works, and it seems to have a little bit more oomph behind it when it connects. It's like uh, instead of their head going halfway off, now if well, my old ass connects, the older you get, the more it hurts. That right? motherfucker connects, you're in trouble. Yeah, now you better be fast enough to duck that motherfucker, because you know I'm just telling you. Even this day, right now, I will knock you out if this thing catches you. Hey yeah. man, but I'm gonna show. I, I don't know if I'll get in trouble for this, but I'm gonna at least show two seconds of you knocking that dude out on TV. Wow, speaking of, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this dude about knocked me the fuck out. Yeah, yeah, in, in the match when he stabbed the shit out of me. See, listen, uh, you, you, you probably don't. Do you know what they call my punches? What they're called in the rest of the They're called know. lottery punches. Yeah, okay. Because sometimes you win, but most times you lose. Yeah. That's what my punch, that's what the wrestlers mm -hmm. named my fist. Lottery, lottery punches. punches. <laughs> what's your, what's your, uh, <laughs> in your whole career, what is, what is the one match that oh, sticks out in your mind? You can't go there with me. Because you can sit there and watch history making matches on my shit right. going all the way back to 1997. Right, let's talk. I've been, okay. I've been writing the fucking hardcore deathmatch scene. I've been writing the book on that shit mm. for 29 motherfucking years. Right. Let me tell you the story. You know story. what I'm saying? When you go deathmatch side of things, <laughs> that goes in a whole different ball game in the universe. Let me tell you. No self-control. Now I really know who you are. I can't forget because this time you've just gone too far. No going back. Can you let me make the least scarred? Well, so do loops. All this pain is making me hard. No self-control. Now I really know who you are I can't walk in Cause this time you've just gone too far No going back Now 
you left me mentally scarred What sort of roots? All this pain is making me hard I'm looking at my window, pissed I'm pulling up my pistol Suicide by liquid crystal Thoughts of fiscal murder Simple, put yourself right in the middle Great molecules got to wriggle I can sizzle like bacon I can be made with an egg I have plenty of backbone But I do not walk on legs My eyes are full of secrets I show men all that he knows I snare and scare the devil In every place that evil goes Nobody else was real. I appreciate I mean, that. If it wasn't for him, like if it wasn't for him pushing me, yeah. I probably would have gave up a long time ago for real. Cause right now it's the two of you. Yes. Yeah. Now, and I'm told that you guys, you had, you had your solo careers before this, and you came together and make this happen. Yeah. Why? Why do that? Why was the decision to come together? Well, all right. I was a, like 11, maybe 12 years old, and when LB came out with his first mixtape there was a song on there called not trying but what are you now i'm 27 now okay. all right and um don't I, look like it you look dale don't even look like a dale 18. <laughs> but uh i was one of the first people to uh come to lb and spit his song word for word and then like ever since then it's like no self-control now i really know who you are i can't forget because this time you've just gone too far no going back story how I first ever heard about this guy, okay? Uh, anybody that knows me knows I'm originally from Lima, Ohio. Get, okay? get up close. Show me your forehead. Please. Oh, man, these, this dude, listen, this these dude ninjas, got, if this is real ninjas talking, they're, they're, they're watching They've already this seen bit. it. I know. Right, but right. For the ones that don't know, okay. this ninja yeah. series now. Alright, if, if, you know if you're new, check this Here out. Here you go. Look, Look at this forehead. This there dude we go. See? came to my town in 1999 uh, and wrestled in a death match. And All he got caught on fire. He got set on fire in Lima, Ohio. This yeah, December. that's the last time I was and, here. And I read about it in the paper, and that's the first time I seen him on the poster. Listen, it, it, it was me and the late mate Roland Hard, which he passed away with colon cancer. But it was me and Roland Hard versus Ian and Axel Rotten when they first came back from ECW. This is right after the fucking Ty P Glass death match and, and all that shit went down um and when axel was spraying the table down he had stabbed it with a fork and shit a bunch of damn times so when you're sp spraying the table he's spraying my arm my back my head <laughs> everything and at this point i'm only maybe fuck because i blew maybe three years into the game of doing you know deathmatch stuff yeah so I'm like, Ian, I'm punching Ian right in the fucking head, Drew, because I'm already getting mad because I'm seeing shit. <laughs> I said, this fucking thing's going to catch. He's like, no, nah, man, just when you go through it, get back up through it real quick. So I was like, all right, this is my gimme. This is straight shoot shit. Yo. Like, this, this is no story. You're, you're getting the shoot side of things right here. Uh, he goes, here we go. I'm like, damn, that's, this, I'm a fucking reward for taking this bump. Like, I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. I'm drunk as actual rotten, spray it down, spray me down. It's like, hey, you know, being power bombed off the top rope through a table that's set on fire is a fucking awesome idea tonight. You know, I don't know what I think it was that night, but I did it. And when I came back up, the lighter fluid that he had sprayed on me lit up. All right, now, I wear electrical tape. I wrap my arms, you know what I'm saying, with, with, with either some gloves usually on or something, but I, I have electrical tape. So when my arm completely sat on fire, it melted the electrical, the electrical tape down my arms and shit. So not only did the fucking fire burn me, but the electrical tape burnt me three times more after it. Damn. Yeah. And then, and then he refused medical treatment. The yeah. ambulance came there. Ambulance came. There. I had four more shows that week. There. I had four more shows that week. We went from, we went from uh, Lima, Ohio, to Detroit, Michigan, to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, down to Jacksonville, Florida, up through Memphis, and then back to fucking Jeffersonville, Indiana. 
burnt to a fucking crisp. Yeah, I had them shows to do. I wasn't called off. Of, because know. he refused medical treatment, it the kids were crying. Yeah, it was just, you can tell. It was such a horrific thing. So it was such a horrific incident here, that the news cameras were on it like flies on gone. shit. The news crews were on it like flies on shit. And I read about it in the paper. I saw it on TV. That's where I... Uh, heard about him and the name always Corporal Robinson always stuck in my now, head. Now, to tell the, the ninjas how fucking old I am is what they're doing right now because ask him how old he was when that happened. Oh, bro, bro, I was 16 years old and I asked my dad to take me to that show and he wouldn't because at 16. the time the, t the tickets were $20. But the world's reverse now, 20 years <laughs> later. I'm 38 well, now. He's 45. Right. But at the time, man, I really wanted to go to that show. I got a poster. I took a po uh, copy of the poster. And I had it. And I was looking at it. And I was like, I want to go to this. Because it had all these stars on it, you know. And then the death match thing, I wanted to see that. But the tickets were like 20 some dollars. But I was like, fuck that. I'm not paying for that. And then, <laughs> and then lo and behold, I see on the news, TV news, about him getting burnt to a crisp. I'm like, fuck. I wanted to see that shit so bad. But that's that's how Corporal Robinson uh, that's right. came into my consciousness <laughs> from that fucking incident. We got we got to go out drinking a fago. You know what I'm saying? At least these two. I ain't fucking got one. I don't know where I fucking put it. But fucking we had one because I we had them all over this mother. Oh, I got right. Thank you. See, Will, Will hooked it up. This shit, Will. Red pop cheers, my shit. I'm a cream soda cheers, guy. Cheers, brother. One hundred percent. Uh huh. Thanks for getting on the show, hey, man. Hey, man, it's a pleasure, man. It's been a pleasure. It's been great to see you ninjas out there in the world. Man, keep doing you, man. Keep doing you. Mm. Yeah, this is say. music. LB Sickness. It's just music. This video is fire. Making another video for my sickos. And we're out. Thank you again, guys.